So the, the, the largest single number uh, which is relevant here actually still comes from COVID for our life and health business. We booked about 500 million of losses largely in the United States due to the deaths that were occurring in January and February. Now, the reality is, is that those COVID deaths are dropping dramatically in that country and in most other countries have re reduced to a very small number. And therefore, we think that this headwind will actually dissipate very quickly in the second quarter and in the second half of this year. Related to the Russia and Ukraine uh, conflict, the, the, the war in the Ukraine has uh, obviously created an enormous destruction inside the, the country. Uh, for better or worse, most of that is not insured, but there is some ex insurance exposure related to the war. Uh, we've uh, gone through a series of scenarios to try to estimate what our losses will be. We've booked, as you say, 283 million in, in the first quarter. That's a significant portion of what we believe to be the ultimate cost of the uh, war as we see it today for Swiss Re. Uh, but we'll have to work through uh, uh, and see the development both of the war itself, but of the uh, potential insured losses uh, along the way. Uh, and the last thing, uh, you mentioned the financial markets. Um, because we report in U.S. GAAP, we actually mark to market all of the listed equity positions we have. Uh, we've also taken um, some very modest sized um, losses related to a, a, a very small portfolio of Russian bonds. We've sold some of them, impaired the rest. And I, I think that's uh, exposures clearly behind us. So we're looking forward to a stronger rest of the year, return to profitability, and we've maintained our targets, uh, including a 10% return on equity uh, for 2022. John, that's great answer. Very clear on all the points there as well. Um, the premium response in order to offset these over a longer term period is always the way that the insurance sector makes its money back. We've talked previously, of course, about the lack of ability to increase premiums because the amount of money pouring into the insurance sector from other markets as well. In a rising interest rate environment in the United States, are you able to put premiums up sufficiently to offset those risks? Uh, the, the, the good news is, is we are and, and we have been and we will continue to do so. What we think is that the pressure from inflation, which uh, doesn't come directly into insurance, but will uh, increase the lost costs for insurers, requires an increase in pricing. We see this happening in the primary market, especially in the United States, but also in other jurisdictions. And we would expect that that will continue as those primary markets increase their prices, that larger pool of, of uh, revenues will flow into the reinsurance market as well. We think we're adequately covered by increase in our own prices, 3% year to date, for the increase in potential loss costs along the way.